Alright, before I say anything about what I'm going to be doing in this video, this may sound gay, stupid, whatever you guys may think or feel, I really don't care, but this has nothing to do with the gaming or anything, just about me and my lovely girlfriend. Now, I know about probably not even 5% of guys would even make a video on YouTube about how much they appreciate and love their girlfriend and reasons why they do. Well, I'm tired of posting about gaming stuff, so I'm going to post about her because she's the most important thing I've had, I had and will have in my life. Now, I've been sitting here debating on posting this video or even making this video for about, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, about two hours. I've been sitting here staring at my phone like, what should I say? What should I do? Well, I mean, I don't really know how to start this, but I don't think she knows how much I appreciate her and how much I love her. I mean, when I first met her, I remember that day like it was, like it was yesterday. Like literally, we were in our high school in the cafeteria in the concession room, and she was holding a baby. I think her name was Lily. I don't know, but she was holding a baby, and I remember her with the little glasses on, and she was just she like we we made eye contact a few times, but that was it. Like we had no connection with each other or anything, but. At that time, like, I'm not even going to lie, at that time, I instantly felt something weird in my body. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was. I, I really don't. But I felt something weird in my body, and it was just kind of like a spark feeling, kind of like somebody just, like, threw, I don't even know, like, hand warmers on me, and, like, they went inside my body. Like, I don't know. Like, it was really weird. I don't know why I said that. But anyway. Well, it, it, like, it felt good. I, I never felt that way before about any other girl that I've been with prior to her. And about a year or two later, probably about two years later, I ended up talking to her one day, and we've been talking ever since. And we started dating in October of 2014, I believe, 2013, 2014. And we dated for about four and a half months, and um, some things went down, and we broke up for about broke up for about a few weeks. We got back back together, and then we broke up again for nine months. And that nine months is probably the most terrible time of my entire life. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was so depressed. Like I just I I didn't want to get out of my house. I didn't want to move out, out of my bed. I didn't want to talk to any of my friends at all, so I just sat in my room right here and just sat here, and I didn't even want to play video games. Like I just sat here and I just watched random TV shows that I didn't know n nothing about. There's nothing I knew about them, and I just sat there and watched them. Cause if, if I wasn't watching them, I was crying my eyes out. Like literally, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I cried almost every day over the nine months, and I thought that every day. Cause I don't know something just told me that I shouldn't give up on her because. How much that I love her. And every day I would get up and I would, in my mind, it would say, text her and make sure she's doing okay, make sure she's doing all right, and how she feeling, and tell her that you love her. And I did it every day. And I knew it probably got annoying because we weren't dating. So um, I just, I said, you know what? I'll just let her have some time, let her do what she wants to do, and hopefully one day she'll come back. So. After about two months into nine months, we were split apart. I stopped talking to her about two months after we broke up. So it was about seven, seven and a half months that we didn't talk to each other at, at all. And I'm not going to lie, I went to a lot of girls. I mean, just trying to get my mind off her. But every moment, every time, no matter what girl I was with, she was in my mind. No matter what. She was always in my mind. And I was always thinking of her and what she was doing. Me, and I was, was trying to... Uh, Try to tell myself that, okay, she's okay, don't worry about her right now, she's fine. Just worry about yourself. But she was always on my mind, so... One day, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drop these girls and try to get back to Lauren. And I started talking to her again one day. And... At that time, I had a girlfriend. But I was talking to her, because I was like, we were just friends. I just want to see how she was doing and all that. And, well... Then it came with a decision in my life, which was the stupidest decision I've ever made in, in my entire life. I had to choose between a girl and Lauren, my, my girlfriend. I had to choose. And I was sitting there, and I was like, 
who should I choose? At that time, the girl I was dating was a girl I had to choose between her or Lauren. And I loved them both. Well, I thought I loved the first one, but I didn't. I oh, no, no. But I thought I loved the first one, but I loved Lauren, and I thought I loved them both. But I chose the girl I was with. Don't ask me why. It was the stupidest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Like, I hate myself every day because of that little decision. Like, it it makes me so mad. Like, it gives me the cold chills because I just hate thinking about why I chose her. Well, that, um, it was that day, um, because I made a decision at night. And that day during school, I was talking to all my friends, asking their opinion. I was like, if you had to choose, I mean, who do you think that I should have chose? And every single one of them. Not one of them said the girl I was dating. They said Lauren. And I, I was like, I knew I should have chose her. Not because my friends said that they would have chose her. But I realized that I should have chose her. And I was an idiot for choosing the girl I was with. I was such an idiot. So that day after school, um, Lauren usually walked the same way because she was going to her aunt's house. And I was going the same way. But I, I would cut like halfway between our past. I would go halfway up and go up a hill, up on these steps through the woods. But I was walking with my friend AJ. And I was like, dude, I have to talk to her. I have to go to her now. I have to talk to her. So I legitimately ran up to her. And I told her to stop and can we talk for a second. And she said, yeah, so what do you want? And I was like, I'm terribly sorry. It was the worst mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Can you just please forgive me and just give me one more chance? And thank the, thank the gods. Thank God. Thank everything. Like, I'm so thankful that she gave me one last chance. And this chance, I would not screw up. And I had not screwed up. And I would never screw up. And we've been dating for a year and five months. Close to five months. I always say a year and a half because I don't know because it's a, around basically almost a year and a half. It's a year and a half in like two weeks. So that day, I instantly was like, okay, I have to start making the right decisions, and I and I have to treat her right this time and not mess up. And I haven't, and it was the greatest decision I ever made in my entire life was running up to her that day, and. Just apologizing a hundred times and just telling her that I need one last chance to prove that I've changed and that I would not screw anything up. And I haven't. And I don't think she knows how much I appreciate her and how much that I love her with all my heart. Like, you know that this girl is for you if the exact second you wake up, you instantly have a smile on your face. Because you know that you have... The awesomest, most beautifulest girlfriend in the world. Like that, that, that is how I feel. Like every day, I, I wake up and I instantly look at her on my phone. Even if she don't text me, like maybe one day she, she wakes up late or she's, I don't know. Like she didn't text me exactly when I wake up. I look over and then all my pictures on my phone are all me and her. So I instantly just look over and I'm like, I had this girl in my life. I am so blessed and it's just amazing to have a girl like that in my life. And everything that I've done in my life. She has had an impact on it, and she's maybe the person I am today, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for everything she does and she will do for me from now until forever, until I die. I mean, I, like, I'm speechless on how much love that I have for this girl. Like, can, I'm going to show a picture of her right now. Show a picture of her. Look, see this girl? See this girl? She is the definition of a goddess. Like, don't mind, don't mind me. Just, 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 yeah, do that. Now look at this girl. She is just perfect. Like, she is just amazing. Like, no amount of money or anything, any type of a treasure or anything in this world could ever make me give up or replace her. Nothing in this world, no girl, nobody, I mean, honestly, not even family can ever replace this girl. This girl has just done everything for me in her power and is just amazing of how she has affected me and impacted my life. I mean, we hang out almost every single day. I mean, we have pictures hung up all over my room. She's she's done everything for me. She's bought me clothes. She's she's fed me when I got my braces put on. I couldn't eat anything. It was just terrible. And I'm, I remember we went to Gold Star and she, they were just fries. Like fries are really mushy usually. 
she actually tore the skin off her fries and mushed them up and she fed them to me. Like, that is how awesome this girl is. Like, all the other girls, like, I hate bearing up my past, my, in my past girls I dated and talked to and all that. But, yes, I have said stuff that I've said to Lauren. Like, I, I've said some of the same stuff. But, I don't think she knows that that stuff does not mean anything to them girls. Them girls were probably chilling me the entire time. And I, and I honestly don't care about them. I never care, I never care about them and I never will. Just, she don't realize that just because I said the same thing to somebody else does not mean that it does not mean that I meant it to them. But I, I, can, I can tell you one, one thing, the route, Estelle, that I mean everything that I say to you. I mean, er, everything that I say to you, I mean, I mean, even when we argue sometimes and I say some stupid stuff, that stuff I don't mean. Like, I'm not really that stupid because I know when the line is crossed or my, my boundaries, so I don't say anything too stupid. But I'm just telling you now, you don't understand how great you make me feel and everything I said to you I have meant and I just want to let you know that you are the beautifulest girl in the world and I love you with all my heart and I hope to mean you have a great and amazing future together and you are just a amazing beautiful smart gorgeous cute hot sexy adorable the greatest the bestest the awesomest the coolest the most perfect girl in the world that I've ever met. And I am so thankful and glad that you are mine and I can call you mine. I mean, I, I know this video may be stupid to make. But this, this video is based and it's just for you. I mean, I'm probably, probably going to post it to my YouTube channel. But I'm, I'm posting it to my, to my YouTube channel because I am, I'm not afraid to express how I feel about her. I mean, I appreciate everybody around my city and everybody in my family knows how much I love her and how much I, I care about her. And, I mean, if I post on YouTube, I post on YouTube. Like, who cares? I, I really don't care if people would judge me or not. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. But I'm probably going to send this to her because she, she's sleeping right now. It's probably around, like, 1130 right now. But she's, she's sleeping right now, and I'm probably going to post this to my YouTube channel, and I am going to probably send it to her. But I made this hide it from her and put it on YouTube, and hopefully she just warns over it. Because some, sometimes she'll get on my YouTube stuff just to look at what I've been doing lately. And hopefully she'll look at it, and she'll watch it. But I probably won't tell her that I made it. But, like, honestly, that girl, Lauren Estelle Hogger, like... You make me speak which just like thinking about you in words that I can describe. I've probably called you every single like nicest, most awesomest word in the dic in the dictionary. Like I've called you everything. I mean, I don't know how to express my feelings, but to just show you. I try to show you every day and I hope you I hope you understand how much I appreciate you and how much that I, I love you. And you have changed my life from messing with people that I should have been messing with, doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing, and just doing crazy stuff, from basically my life being complete hell, like no friends and doing nothing, just being a loner, basically. And then when she walked in, everything changed. I went from zero to about 100, and so she, she, she came back into my life. When she left me the first time, like, I honestly couldn't. It was the worst feeling I've ever had in my entire life. But the moment she came back is the moment it, it all changed. And my life has changed forever. And... I'm trying to hold back tears. I just hope that she understands that no matter what happens, I will be by your side forever. And I promise you that. I cross my heart. I promise on everything I love, I promise and swear on my life that I would never ever leave you no matter what. I mean, I will do anything for you. Like, I will, like, I'm not lying. I will take a bullet for you if I have to. I will, I will protect you as much as I can, as much as possible. I will protect you to the day I die, and I, I promise you that. Even if we're in heaven together, which I hope we are, I hope heaven is real. 
But if we are in heaven together, I will be with you then. I will protect you then. I will love you then. I will love you forever, and I will love you always. And I, that is a promise to you. And every time I look up, I just vision her and just how beautiful and how perfect she is. I just want to say one thing before I end this video. Lauren Estelle Hogger, I love you so much with all my heart. And I hope you know that. And before I go, I just want to show you guys a few things that she has made for me and given to me. So the first thing is this thing. This is um for Valentine's Day. She got for me. Pretty cool, right? Pretty pretty cool. And then if you can see this, um, this picture is that picture. It's a poster of Happy 16th Birthday from her. Like all of, all of our memories, I like share all of them. And then. Our little fishies we got here. There's Night and Shelly Axe and Bubbles. And then there, I think there's Sweet Cheeks in the back. The little algae eater. And then up here is all of our memories from our first year together. She made that. She's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, what girlfriend makes stuff like that for you? Like, that, that's just perfect. And then right here is part the penguin. The stuffed animal that she's bought me. And I stay with him every night because, I mean, it's a nice thing to do and I like stuffed animals. But, I'll fix this real quick. There we go. I mean, I really don't, don't know what to say because, like, um, she's, I mean, you're not even here and you're just getting me, like, all excited and happy because I'm just thinking about you and talking about you. Like, I love every moment and every second that we get to hang out with each other. And I cherish every moment that we've ever spent and we ever will spend with each other. I know that every moment is going to be great and amazing. And, yeah, we're going to have some fights and some arguments, but that's relationships. Like, it's going to happen. But I promise you, I will never leave you. And you are just a amazing and truly, you are just a perfect person. And I hope you just stay perfect and you stay beautiful. And I hope that you have a great day, even if you're sleeping right now. And I just want you to know that you are, you're wanted and you're loved by me and by all your family, all my family. And you are just a, just a awesome person. And this video was just really weird and kind of really dorky, but... I want you to know that I love you and I hope you have a great day. And I, I probably said I, I want you to know and I love you about a hundred times in this video. And I probably said that I'm thankful for everything you do for me in this video about 150 times. But I just wanted to get that point through your cute little head and your little bun hair that you are just a beautiful, beautiful girl. And I'm so thankful and blessed that you are mine and I can call you mine. And... I hope you understand that I love you so much and hope you have a good day and I may send this to you or I may put it on YouTube so you're going to have to find this out for yourself and I love you. I will see you later babe.